This video will give a brief introduction to StatKey and also an explanation of how to use data inside of StatKey. StatKey is the statistical analysis tool that is made by the authors of Statistics Unlocking the Power of Data. And if you have that textbook, it basically does everything you need to do for that class. StatKey is organized into different sections depending on the type of analysis that you want to do. Starting in chapter two, we'll be learning all about descriptive statistics and graphs. And all the descriptive statistics and graph is located over here on the left-hand side of StatKey. In chapter three, we'll be talking about doing confidence intervals using bootstrap distributions and also about sampling distributions. And all of that's located right here in the middle. In chapter four, we'll be doing hypothesis tests using randomization distributions. In chapter six, we're gonna use more standard statistical analysis procedures, but we will be using StatKey a little bit to help us find values from the theoretical normal and T distributions. And finally, in chapter seven through nine, we'll be doing chi-square tests, analysis of variance and regression, which we'll use this last part of StatKey for. No matter how you plan to use StatKey, it's going to be important that you can get your data into StatKey in order to be able to analyze it. There's four basic ways to use a data set in StatKey. The first and simplest way is to use a preloaded data set that's already there for you. For example, in this question in the textbook, section 2.2, exercise 75, it says they want you to use the birth rate variable in the all countries data set. In StatKey, the first thing we need to do is decide what area we need to go into. In this case, for this problem, we are looking at the variable birth rate. So we have one variable and birth rate is quantitative. So I'm gonna to go to descriptive statistics for one quantitative variable. Once I click on that, all the data sets that are preloaded into StatKey can be found in the drop down box in this upper left hand corner. This is going to be true no matter what you click on inside of StatKey. So, clicking on that, this shows me everything that is already preloaded in here. For this particular problem, we're looking for the birth rate variable in the all countries data set. So, if I scroll down this list, I can see there's this one that says countries 2E birth rate. This is the one I'm looking for. Sometimes people wonder what the 2E and the 1E stand for. That relates to the edition of the textbook. In our class, we're using the second edition. So if you ever have a choice between 2E and 1E, choose the 2E. So I'm gonna click on this data set, countries 2E birth rate, and it shows me first off a dot plot of the data. Notice that for one quantitative variable, I have choices on the types of graphs I wanna look at. I can look at a dot plot, I can look at a histogram, or I can look at a box plot. For this particular problem, we needed to look at a histogram or a dot plot and determine the shape of the data. One thing that's nice on the histogram option is you can adjust the number of buckets to change the appearance of your histogram a little bit. No matter how many buckets we use though, it's clear to see that this histogram is skewed to the right. The second way is to type the data in yourself. For example, in chapter two, section two, exercise 61, they give us a set of data here. And this data set is not one that has already been typed in for us. So we need to type it in ourselves. For this problem, we were measuring the amount of arsenic in toenail clippings, which is also a quantitative variable. So I'm going to go into one quantitative variable. Then in order to enter the data myself, I'm going to click on this edit data option. So this brings up the data window and I'm gonna get rid of everything that's in there. So I can just hit control A that highlights everything and hit delete. And now I'm going to enter the data in, just type it straight in, in one column. So I'll just call this toenail, kind of gross data and I'm gonna type in those numbers. So I wrote them down on a piece of paper here, that's what I'm getting them from. If you had your problem up, you could also type it in from that. All right, so now I've got all my data entered in and 
down here at the bottom, we have to be careful about which boxes are checked. There's one option for the first column being an identifier column and another option for a header row. So I do have a header row because I put the title of toenail up there, but I do not have an identifier column in this case because all I have is my list of numbers. An identifier column might have the name of whoever's toenail that belonged to or something like that. So I need to uncheck that first box because I do not have an identifier column. If you forget to uncheck it, you're going to get an error and then you'll just need to go back and uncheck that box. Once I do that, the data is in there and again, everything that I had before is now available to me. The third way is to upload a data set. Remember that problem with the birth rate and the all countries? Well, if you hadn't noticed that it was already there for you in the preloaded data sets, you could also find the data set and upload it yourself. To do that, you're first going to click here to get the data set associated with this question. Clicking on that link will take you here to the data set page, which has all the data sets from the entire textbook. So scrolling down, you can find the data set that we need. Actually, we didn't have to scroll down. The All Countries data set is right here at the top. And to upload it into StatKey, the one you want is the CSV file. So I'm gonna click on CSV, and on my computer, that just automatically downloads it and puts it into my downloads folder. Depending on your computer presets and things like that, you might have to specifically tell it where to save it or something like that. Once you have the data set downloaded, then you're gonna go back to StatKey. Notice on this side menu, there's an option for StatKey. And once in StatKey, I'm gonna go back into that one quantitative variable here. And this time I'm gonna click on Upload File. So I click on Upload File and I find where I downloaded it, which for me was my downloads folder on my computer. So I click on the file and open it up. So this brings up this that has all the variables in the entire data set, and we just need to tell it which variable we're trying to analyze. So for this problem, it wanted us to look at birth rate. So I just have to scroll along here until I can find the birth rate variable. There it is. So I click on the column for birth rate, and then I just click on OK, and you can see that we actually have the same data set that we looked at previously, the one that was, was preloaded, but now we've gotten the data from the actual data file that it linked to in the Wiley Plus problem. The last way to get a usable data set is to copy and paste the data set. To use the cut and paste method, you first need to download the data from the data website. In the last example, we got to the data website by clicking the link within the problem on Wiley Plus. Here I'm going to show you another way to find that course data website. From the main StatKey homepage, if you click on the name of the textbook up here, and then you click on data sets in the menu bar on the left hand side, that takes you to the data sets website. So here I am, just like I was before. This time, I'm going to download the Excel file. Notice there's lots of different options here if you have access to some other statistical software analysis program. I'm going to click on the Excel file. That's the second column here. And I'm going to download that. Then I'm going to go ahead and open it up on my computer. So that went into my download folder. So I'm going to find my download folder and open that up here in Excel. Then I'm going to find the column that contains the birth rate data since that's the one that I wanted for this one. Here's my birth rate data. Then I'm going to copy it from here and we're going to go into StatKey and paste it. So I'm going to highlight this whole column here. I'm going to hit Control C to copy that. Then I'm going to go back over to StatKey using this link over on the left hand side. Once in StatKey, I'm going to go back into one quantitative variable. This time I'm going to click on Edit Data like I did when I wanted to enter the data myself. But this time I'm just going to paste everything that I just copied from Excel. 
So first I'm going to get rid of everything that's in there and then hit control V to paste it in. Just like before, when I put my own data in here, I just need to make sure the boxes down here are checked the way I want them to be. In this case, I did have a header row, so I'm going to leave that box checked. I did not have an identifier row since I just have the one column of data. Then I can click on OK, and now we're back to seeing that same data set that we have been looking at. So there's four different methods for you to be able to get the data you need into StatKey to use it. I hope that you find that helpful.